no, you're not listening. I'm driving on the 405 as we speak. I'm five minutes away. I'm driving right over the hill. Hi, Daddy. Morning, gorgeous. Mom wants to ask you something. She said it's okay for you to go in the house instead of using your cell phone. That's good to know. Okay, Ben, let's play by the rules. I thought our last session went really well, didn't you? We're running a little short on time. Why can't we talk about it? Next time. I know the time is up, but we're paying enough please, money. We can't stay two please? more Thank minutes. Thank you very much. Ben, we've got a problem. <laughs> oh! Serious problem. Is he a final cut? I'll take the movie away from you and recut it myself. Yeah. He'll be fine. It's jet lag. I'll take care of it. It's okay. Talk to me. You're not gonna believe it. He's fat. Bruce Willis is overweight? With a grizzly Adams beard. If that bastard doesn't shave and look like a leading man, we sue you for misrepresentation. Oh, Cindy, come on. This is Bruce Willis we're talking about him. He's agent. He's got four days to shave, and that's it. Tell him he's gonna get fired. I don't want to. You're scared of him. I'm scared of all of them. Audiences want to know it's you, Bruce. What are you talking about? They're not gonna recognize me, Ben? Oh, where'd Bruce go? Oh, look, there he is. I see him right there, the guy with the beard. Yeah, well, why don't we start by giving your overblown stomach to the Red Cross? Yeah? I'm hurting. You're hurting? Is anyone else other than you sleeping in our old bed? What? I believe you're seeing my ex-wife. For God's sake, you're married. I'm not happy. Is this a feeling that you're unfamiliar with? I'm not just some silly girl in tight clothes. I went to Stanford. That's a good school. Hunter S. Thompson once said to me, the movie business is a cruel and shallow money trench. You live Where thieves and pimps run free. Oh! And good men die like dogs. And then he added, there's also a negative side. As we dig deeper and deeper, you're gonna feel so good about being apart that you're never gonna wanna get back together.